Uh, we want to welcome uh, Rachel Feinstein to the program. Hey, how is it? I'm wearing a gentle peasant top so I can counsel anyone tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's thinking about killing themselves. Very nice. Who are not uh, suicidal. Nice. So evidently, Joe, you and uh, Rachel had a big argument about Jews. Yes, we did. <laughs> uh, <coughs> this is the thing. Joe wants to go off on Jews and how it no, works uh, wait is a second. No, 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 you no, need no, a no. Jew in here. Joe, just let me introduce this. I segment. don't want to go just, off on me, Jews. Don't just, paint. Be careful <laughs> how you paint this. <laughs> As I'll fucking show up to my spots this week, and it'll be, it'll, there'll be a line through my name. What are you saying, Joe? The Jews run it? <laughs> I'm not saying they run it. I'm saying they got a good footing in there. You going to leave me hanging? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. What, what the argument was, was that, um, well, here's how it started. Let me preface this. I saw a documentary called Mr. Death. You've seen this. I know you've seen it, right? Mm-hmm. And we got Mr. Death up here in the, on the message board. Drink brake fluid, <laughs> strap himself to a North Korean nuclear power plant. <laughs> Here's the, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. So I watched this documentary called Mr. Death. And what this guy did was he was, uh, he was an engineer that designed um, capital punishment devices, right? Like gas chamber release things or whatever, and lethal injection gadgets and whatever. So this guy got hired by some Aryan guy in Germany that that thought that the Holocaust never happened to go to Auschwitz, to go to its remains, to chip pieces of the brick off of the remains of the gas chambers, have them studied in a lab to see if they could find traces of cyanide, whatever. So this guy goes and does it. They run these tests. They're kind of faulty. They're not proven. Uh, they're not that reliable. But the tests come back negative for traces of cyanide. This guy becomes immediately convinced now that the Holocaust never happened. Now, I don't agree with that. Of course, I think the Holocaust right. happened. But what happened to this guy was he went on trial to testify about his findings and his beliefs. He published a report to support his theory. And it was like overnight, the guy's life was just ruined. Right. Like he had no job. His family was gone. He couldn't. He got evicted. Like everything was just destroyed. Like his life just fell apart. And it made me start thinking, like Jesus Christ, that's an insane amount of power to strike out against somebody with because you don't like something they said or something you found that they said that was derogatory to your people. And I started to think about it. And I was like, well, wait. There have been plenty of people in the spotlight that said stuff about black people or Mexican people or Italian people or whoever. Right. Their lives certainly weren't destroyed over it. And I start well, and that 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 led me to thinking about how certain groups of people are portrayed in the media, and I was, and I was like, you know what? I don't think Jewish people ever get really that degraded in the media, and that was what started, I think, the argument was I said that I think black people, Mex- any other minority group has been severely degraded repeatedly in the media, but I don't think the Jewish people really have ever been. Right. And I find that to be interesting. But I think I think people say stuff about black people, everybody goes crazy, people say anything like that, everybody, everybody plays that dumb apology media game. I don't think that, that only holds for Jews at all. I think it's stupid, it's this dumb apology dance. What are you saying, Joe? You, you want to see Jews trash? No, I'm not saying I want to see him trash more, but I'm saying, like, maybe they could do the, redo the Three Stooges instead of having the black guy with his eyes bugging out. No, 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 like, no. <laughs> some Jewish guy with a big I'm not, nose I'm not spinning saying a I, yarmulke on the end of it. I'm not saying I want them trashed more. What I'm saying is, but, like, that's what I'm talking about. You have He's the saying old, that they're not portrayed in, 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 a, in, a, in enough of a grotesque and vulgar light. Am I no, correct? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Every other race has been, and Jewish people never have been. There's never... Look, you've had the black butler stuff. You've had the Latino gang stuff. You've had the Italian mobster stuff. You've had the Irish... Dude, you're 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 doing the Marlon Brando. But you've had all that stuff, but you've never... I've never seen, like... A thing or a TV show. You're talking or about a movie. all kinds of oh, media. No, 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 no. But I've never, I've never seen a TV show <laughs> or a movie. Notice the Jew can't speak at oh, all. No, no, no. He's not allowed to speak. Hold on, hold on. I, I never saw a TV show or a movie where it was like repeated. You know, the the cheap Jew guy that you know is so. I, 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 I wish you could see I, the I, I don't know, that... but I, I know what he's saying. I know. I, I kind of know what he's saying. You're like you're saying like there's like like horrific. Absolutely. Horrific shit with like black people, like back in the day, like you watch, even like that Tom and Jerry shit we were talking about, like like yeah. the, the housemaid Thomas. <laughs> she got like a fucking handkerchief, uh, the kerchief around her head. I don't know, but I think I do think that I think that's because people, I think in general, Jews, including the way Jews feel themselves, I think people sort of find Jews so distasteful that it's almost better not to mention them at all. I think a lot of times in a lot of movies and situations like that, people sort of feel like, oh, why even bring? What's a Jew the most into offensive it? thing no, you've no seen? Way. 
What's like the most offensive thing that you've I guess, seen in you like know, movies? I guess I feel like it's more, it's less that there's like outrageous. I feel like the anti-Semitism in movies and media and stuff like that is less that there's all these like these bad, you know, ugly things about Jews. It's more just that they're not really, they're not really represented that much. Just like the way people come famous and they, they all change their names or de-Jew their names or whatever. Like you can't think of like a very, very many like hot movie stars with like, with like Jew, really, really Jewish names. You know what I mean? But again, you can't think of a lot of hot movie stars. And I say again because we've discussed this previously. You can't think of a lot of hot movie stars with really Italian names or really Irish names. I mean, that's that's not an exclusivity to Jewish people. Everybody gets a pretty. So what, what is your problem? Standard, my, it's not a problem. I'm just saying. I, I find don't know. Like it what? Inter, I'm just saying. I find it interesting that I've seen the. Uh, Indian guy with a dot on his head running the convenience store a million times. I've seen the stingy racist Korean. Oh, you get out of my store! I've seen that a million right. times. I've seen the bug-eyed butler a million times. I've never seen the Jewish guy that's like, I can't deal with it. A dollar? You're out of your mind. I'm so cheap. You know, like I've never seen that. And the closest I've ever seen come to it is Woody Allen, and I don't think that's even remotely close. I feel like because people don't talk about Jews all that much. Nobody's, not that many families are Jewish, like, on television. If they are, it's the Jews talking about being Jewish. It's not, you know, somebody else, you know? Well, and I, I feel like, and I feel like, and I, I, th I think, like, in novels or whatever, you're talking about different kinds of media or whatever, I always found that, like, I'm not, I'm not very well read, but uh, <laughs> for Neither a Jew, for a Jew, I'm sarcastic <laughs> and Jewish, so people think I'm intelligent, but I'm actually not. Um... But I've noticed that in novels, whenever the Jew appears, there, it's usually in some sort of dark climax of the novel. You know what I mean? Like they found out that somebody's reputation oh, so was ruined. Oh, you guys ruined. get trashed in books? <laughs> we do get trashed in books. I feel like in most <laughs> books. And this is yeah, the worst. nobody reads. <laughs> this is the worst show to prove that point. <laughs> I know because I haven't even read any of these books. No, so but what I do you feel like that? Read, so what are you basing read, that on? I've read a couple of a Jew. I have a point. I've read a couple of of books. And I'm really falling apart here. And I've read a few you Russian. Know, I don't think Rachel Wait. even has a fucking point here. <laughs> she I She's might. I might. This was a I really feel... dry conversation that I went feel... nowhere. I feel that I may. I've read a couple of Russian novels, and I seem to remember that usually when someone's reputation is is in the process of being ruined, it comes out that they have a Jew cousin. There's like a vulgar Jew cousin. So you in had the to go to Siberia to find something <laughs> offensive. No, you know what? Yeah, I, you know what hey, no, you know what I'm not famous, no, and my name's you're, Rachel you're, Feinstein. I'm clearly a hotbed of talent. Like it's clearly <laughs> stated in Jackie Collins' third novel after the steamy romance scene God between the it. two cousins. <laughs> A Jew comes out of the woodwork and everything falls apart. Well, listen, I do. I did. Here's the one... thing, though. This is the thing, though. You could you can still have like a black pimp, you know, a, a black dude shooting the place up. I don't think you could. You can. You could never do that Jewish character, though. You could never have the uh, the stereotype of the blood sucker and that that you evil. Couldn't. The Farrakhan's version. Of, of a Jewish person, you could never have in a movie, but you can have the clan's version of a black dude, no problem. And I think that is that what the fuck you're trying to yeah, say? Yeah, Hollywood is still but exploiting think, all these other we, races. But when we had this argument, I didn't say that there was tons of examples of Jews in media being pro t uh, portrayed grotesquely. That's what not I what said I heard. to you, I heard you had examples. But you no, did say I, I said, said if I had them, I would have brought them here. I'm clearly <laughs> worthless. Now let me finish my goddamn point. What I said to you was that this no, is the attack I couldn't the Jew think, segment. <laughs> I couldn't think of a lot of of, of of bad examples of Jews being portrayed in the media. What I said though, I said the anti-Semitism is more in the fact that people change their names and don't want to publicly be Jewish, like have really Jewish uh, names, because they want people in Kansas to go They're to the movie. They're not considered as attractive. That's what I said to you. That was my point. I actually I, didn't have I, w I didn't have anything to argue that. I'll tell you, you know what? The point. hardest crowd I've ever gone in front of, uh, Hasidic Jews. Everyone talks about a black crowd. Like the meanest crowd I've ever been is, is Hasidic Jews. They because they, they add like a looking down at you. I can't describe their vibe. I fucking I I they they annoy me. I've always thought <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't <laughs> like no 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 no. I don't mean like they annoy me that they dress like they're on a fucking little house in the prairie. <laughs> I don't mean that shit. I'm just saying when I perform, not all of them, but like like <laughs> certainly like haven't you ever been down the cellar, man? I don't remember. Do you remember that? I feel like that they're group actually just kept coming back and they were they were they were beyond cunts. I they feel were, they were the worst, yeah, I, yeah, worse I yeah. than and, and like black crowds are brutal. 
I feel like actually, well, I actually feel like they're opposite because they're so because their lives are so devoid of anything fun and pleasing whatsoever that they almost laugh like and they enjoy something distasteful almost a little too much to the point it almost kind of disturbs nah, me. I, you know, I disagree with that. They, they're always I think they need it head. so bad. They need something sick and raw, something, is is? anything, and they're boring. I, I'm not, I, I've, boring I've had I've had always... I've had good times in front of those kinds of crowds, but I gotta admit, like I feel some like they of the, want some you to of, fake cunt a little of too much. The worst, like the other night, I I did a, I did a fucking show and like. It was brutal. It was like somebody proposed to somebody in the, in the crowd and they actually let him up on stage. And, and like this person brought 15 out of the 20 fucking people there. And they just turned the whole thing into a wedding reception. Could give a fuck that I was on the stage. And then they just started yeah. heckling me. Cause, it was just, it was on a side note, because everybody thinks that everybody else gives a fuck about their relationship and their love. And nobody gives a fuck. You're going to be divorced know. in three fucking years. Anyway... The, uh, <laughs> yeah, whoever would propose to somebody at a comedy show needs to take their own life anyway. That's the, worthless. I think, um, well, look, it, it, you know. All right, this person is trying to say, oh, that, here's a great one. Johnny, put, put Johnny on. This guy's trying to say Larry David is a stereotype. Oh, for Christ's sake. See what I'm saying? Like, no, that isn't. Hello? Johnny. Yes? Johnny, what's up? You're saying Larry David is a stereotype? Well, being a Jewish man, I feel that Larry David is the epitome of the Jewish stereotype on TV right now. Yeah, but There's always something when to complain finished. about. Nothing ever goes his way. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's have a latke. Let, let, <laughs> let me ask you this though: Do you think that that is it? That did he just hang up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why would you? T- Why did he? Hang First up? of all, I think he was just the epitome of the Jewish series. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, even hemmed and hawed during his. But here's why that doesn't count: because it's a Jewish. Even if that were true, I don't even agree with what he just said. But even if that were true, it's a Jewish guy being himself and what he thinks is himself and his life. Well, like when I, when, I, my, well, when, I, when, I, when I watch that dude, I just I I think he's funny. I see me like here's a guy yeah, creating all his own problems. He's not like a. a He's not like a slumlord, like there's some really, and he's, you know, yeah. taking money, like, exactly. like I'm, which I'm saying is a stereotype. I'm not saying that's true, which is a stereotype. Right. He's just some fucking guy, you know, he goes, to, he goes to brush yeah. his teeth and the, somehow he ends up getting in an argument with somebody. The it's equivalent, funny. like, it's not, when you do it to yourself, it doesn't count. The equivalent to what I'm talking about would be like some show, and, you know, kids, they're going to shut the orphanage down. Bertie Goldberg is coming over here. You know how much of a miser he is. He's raising the rent. <laughs> That's what I mean. That never that has never occurred. I've never seen that ever. Now, I'm not saying they should show. do it. Do I'm you want saying... it, Joe, are you working on any screenplays we need to know about? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. With, with a character such as that? Yeah, yeah. It's called... Uh... Don't say it, Joe. Cue him down. You, 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 still, you still want to get spots in the city. <laughs> It's called Nice Knowing You, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take another break here coming up. If you'd like, yeah. We yeah, can, uh, we'll take another break. When we wait. get back, we're going to uh, we're gonna hang a little more with Rachel Feinstein. You listen to Uninformed. It's Uninformed with Bill Burr and Joe DeRosa. What's going on? You're listening to Uninformed, Dangerous Waters. Talking about how Jews are portrayed in uh, Hollywood. Here's an open-minded guy. Let's talk to Jeff. Jeffrey. You. Yeah, what do you got to say, man, about uh, the stuff we were just touching on? No, I was just saying, uh, I think that uh, you, well, you don't see a lot of people mean uh, the Jews being trashed. I really feel like a lot of the Jewish people are the ones that run Hollywood. Most of the lawyers and producers. I, I always felt that way, so you don't see that much, you know, these Jewish people being trashed. Are you out That's there? Are you uh, are you yeah. pitching script, scripts and that type of stuff? What do you do? Um, actually, yeah, I do a lot of writing, but I, I you know, I just the <laughs> people that I've met are a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of Jewish lawyers, a lot, you know, and I. I where, where, uh, are you, where, where where do you do your writing at? I'm um, actually I do a lot of writing uh, at home, and I'm friends with uh, some of the guys at Kevin Smith that are. Uh, from Middletown. Okay, so you're actually uh, in the from, business. Okay, I was, thought you were going to be some guy in the middle of nowhere. Like, yeah, you know, I think these Jews, they're, uh, they're running shit. What are you doing? Like, oh, I pump gas in uh, yeah. Arkansas. He's like, he's like, I had an idea that was just like uh, 30 Rock, except it was about how all the Jews run everything. <laughs> 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 this guy is like the seventh comment right, on you YouTube. Know I, I, but I, I thought this guy was going to come, you know, like... You know you know. I honestly think, though, the reason why I, I think that that, that that kind of stuff doesn't happen, I just think that people... Are, are conscious of their group 
And there are, I don't think Jews run Hollywood, but there, there's definitely a lot of Jews out there. So that you got to be more conscious of that stuff. So, and they you can know. flatten their bodies so people won't always notice where they are. They can flatten their bodies like a bug. <laughs> no, are you honestly going to say there's not a lot of Jewish people out in Hollywood? No, they are. It's cr- what I'm saying. They can flatten them so they're crawling all over the place. <laughs> fucking Jews. <laughs> I'm not saying it in a bad way. You can't even bring it up. Look, no, no, it is. There's a lot of Jews in Hollywood. I was saying. It's like there's a lot of Irish guys who are cops, you know what I mean? So there's probably not, not a Mick jokes flying around, but I'm sure there's a lot of other jokes. That's all I'm That's saying. That's what I was trying to say to Joe in our all argument, right. that is that, um, and we argue very passionately sometimes because we love each other so mm-hmm. much, but I was saying that, that a lot of it is the self-hatred from the Jews, I think. A lot of anti-Semitism oh, in right. Hollywood comes from Jews themselves, you know? Because they've all, they I think that the Jews are very apologetic, you know, in history or whatever. A what lot are you apologizing us. for? Uh, I mean, what did you guys do, for, man? For being so vulgar and <laughs> 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 